Hello, good afternoon. I am Lutra FM as always, and I am giving you some Fight Club Pro Local to Global TW 2020 goodness today. Um, where you left us off last, we did two shows, and um, the one show that we did do was tag team matches only. And I've also brought in some international imports from America and, and Europe as well. So we've got a, a lot better roster now which means we're not going to focus just on British wrestlers. They obviously will be a main part of it. I even managed to get Bret Hart to be a road agent. So there you go. I'm very happy with that acquisition. Um, but yeah, so when I come back in a second, I will show you how we're doing so far. And then I'll book our first show with you. Right, and we're back. So what I want to do first, I just want to see where we are on here. So we are slightly better than Deadlock Pro. Revolver and Ring of Honor. We're still insignificant. We haven't risen up in popularity yet to be fast as tiny. That is the next aim. We are getting there slowly, but surely we are improving slightly. But at least we are not bottom. So this show is basically going to be trying to make the best show possible with the new wrestlers I've got. So we're going to go with a tag team match to start off with. We're going to have the tag champion Scum. That should be a good match because the three other wrestlers in that match are really good. So we'll see. The debut of Kamikaze, which is Blue Kane and Shea Persa. And we're going to obviously, obviously have Blue Kane and Shea Persa win. I don't care, BT Gun. You are going to do the job. Take it or leave it. Um, I will do, I'll do BT Gun and Stevie, I think it's Stevie Xavier, that's it, attack Blue Kane before the match and Shea Persa. Um, yeah, let's do that. Actually, we'll do sell him. So we'll do that before the match, we'll just put that up there. Even though they shouldn't win in theory because they got beaten up, they still go on to win. Um, that's meant to be a pre-show. And then the angle needs to be pre-show as well. And then I'll just swap them two around. Right then, so that's that. And then next match needs to be singles match. Probably a women's match. We, we always want to have a women's match in here. Ginny is more than capable of holding her own against anybody. We just need to find the right opponent for her. We do lack a oh, Valkyrie. There we go. Uh, put her in there, see what she's like. Let's do another women's match. We'll have Killer Kelly defend her title. These are actually a tag team in TNA in real life. Well, they were. I don't know. I'm not completely up to date with, with, uh, with that, but yeah. Right, so how long have we got left? We've done 75 minutes. Um, we need to do an angle with Ginny and Valkyrie. So we'll do Ginny on the mic. Valkyrie on the mic. Do that like so. There we go. So that sets up that nicely. We've done 81 minutes. We've still got 135 minutes. So we've got 55 minutes to go. Okay, that's good. We can still do a couple of good matches here. We've got one-on-one, -on -one, male. Uh, let's see who we've got. A-Kid, let's add A-Kid in there. A-Kid versus Alan Angel should be a good match in theory. Actually, no, scrap that. A-Kid versus Amazing Red. That would be a really good match. Uh, match of the Slam does not have it. Okay. So we'll shorten the match. 15 match. 15 minutes there we go like so and then if Chris Saban wins the heavyweight title I don't want my heavyweight title matches to only be 15 minutes long we've still got time to do we've still got another with what we do we'll do an angle with Henny Williams and Chris Saban microphone Chris Saban Microphone. 
do that. We'll push that up there, wrong way. Right, so that's that done. Um, right, so we're going to do another match. We're not going to have it as the main event. We're just going to put it just behind Kenny Williams versus Chris Saban. But, and I think Thomas Billington needs to go over. Uh, sorry to Jiri, but it's happening. Actually, I'll um, I'll keep Tajiri strong so it keeps him happy because I don't want him to leave. It might dent the match. Oh no, he's still not happy. Uh, keep strong, protect him maybe. There we go. Keeps him happy. Push that over there. Right, we're good to go. This is a decent card. I think we're going to do all right with this one. So the angle with um, PT Gunn and Stevie Xavier and Blue Kane and Shea Persa. 37 rating. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have got... I'm going to just quickly... Hold on, let me read this out first before I get... So Kamikaze defeated Justus. Got 47 rated. Uh, Greg Lambert and Bret Hart have pretty good chemistry when calling matches together. So I have a new announced team. It's Greg Lambert, Bret Hart, and somebody else. So I'm hoping it does make a big difference. Uh, let's see who are the best in one performers here. Stevie Xavier had a 55, PT Gunn had a 54, so they were far superior tag team. But Blue Gang getting a 33, that's slightly up a bit more, so that's good. So our new commentary team is Greg Lambert, uh, Bret Hart, and Jim Smallman. So I'm hoping that will be a better announced team moving forward. Oh, God. Mark Adams. I didn't put Mark Adams. I put Mark Andrews. Oh, no. I'm dreading this. I, don't, I can go back, luckily. I can check to make sure. The angle that had Mark Adams instead of Mark Andrews only got a 43. Mark Adams worked the crowd well using his freedom. So it was all right in the end. But then again, perform, perform, they performed poorly in there, so... Uh, Angelina Love is a road agent now, which terrifies me. I need to change that at some point. All right, let's just make sure that this is the right match. It does say scum. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know what I did with that angle before. Um, there we go. Right, that's good. So in an exceptional match, scum defeated Generation next. Mark Andrews pinned Jack Evans with a top rope moonsault. Um, scum make defense number three of the tag team titles. Uh, Matt Seidel was the weak link, struggling to help with everybody's you know, this is in ring performance, which is ridiculous. I'm going to have a tinkle with the editor uh, offline and make Matt Seidel a little bit better because this is not on. He's not. He's one of the best workers in the in the business, even to this day. He is. Every time I watch him on AEW TV, he can have a good match with anybody. So he get he needs to, he deserves more credit than this. Uh, the match dragged at the end. So how long did I do it for? 23 minutes, maybe I should have just done it at 20 minutes, but still good. 75 rated, got the crowd buzzing. Angle with Ginny and Valkyrie, got a 45, all sorts of greens here, so that's good. 79, Jesus Christ. That just goes, that just tells you how good Ginny is, that she got a 79 match win. Valkyrie, she got a 61, so, and they have really good chemistry, so we're going to have to put them in more matches together, but that's really good. 20 minutes, it was just a normal match. So maybe try out next time I might try the same match but do an all out match and see how that goes. See if it makes any difference. Um in comparison, this match only got a fifty rating. Killer Kelly seventy one, but unfortunately Masha bump her up a little bit as well. Killer Kelly sustained a fractured wrist. Well that's great. And then Masha Slamovich was rusty, but that'll go away once she gets in a few matches and about well. Maybe I'll have to put in some pre show matches to get her up to speed. Oh, this match only got a 52 rating. That's such a shame. Rusty. So, amazing red Rusty. So, hopefully, give him a few more matches and he'll be all right. Uh, A-Kid carried the match. Hey, see, amazing red, only 21. is ridiculous. What I need to do is make a list of wrestlers I need to improve with the editor and then do that offline. But, yeah. So, Angelina Love needs to be... I need to make sure that Angelina Love's not road agent at any of the other matches. She is terrible. Road agent, alpha female. I don't trust alpha female in that one. So Bret Hart can do that. And this one as well. 
Steve Logan. Steve Logan's all right. Right, let's carry on. Let's see how this match goes. 64 rating for this match. Thomas Billington beat Tajiri by submission. I think this would have got a little bit better if Tajiri was willing to play ball. But because I had to protect him, um, it kind of hinders the match overall. Um, as at least one of your workers in this segment is either turn or gimmick change waiting to happen. And should, oh, okay. Change gimmick. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was supposed to change gimmick. There you go. So I've changed Thomas Billington's gimmick. Um, it was cocky, and I can't remember what I've changed it to now. And the angle with Kenny Williams and Chris Saban got 58 rating. And then the match itself got a 69 rating. Again, Chris Saban very underrated on this database. 40. Uh, Chris Saban seemed off his game. But uh, yeah, Kenny Williams carrying the show match. So I don't think this show would overall rating will do very well, but we'll see. 68 and too bad. Improve, increased our popularity in 32 regions. We only got 61 people though. That's concerning. That's way less than last show. That's like 40 people less. Why was it so why was it so little? Hmm. If anybody knows why there was only 60 instead of like say 100 like last time, you should let me know in the comments section, please. I would appreciate it. Any experts on TW 2020, just let me know. And if you've got any advice on booking Fight Club Pro as well, can you let me know in the comments section? I would appreciate it. I always appreciate help playing this game. Um, you know, I play I played football manager for like twenty years. I, I as much as I don't mind advice playing playing that game, I'm pretty good at playing that game to be honest. But TW twenty twenty, even though on and off I played it for years, but I, I just haven't played it enough. This is the most I've ever played TW. Oh, Chris Savers Junior's contract's expiring. That means hopefully we can uh damn, not good enough to have him. Chris Saban's opinion, uh, A kid has charisma, the kid has a lot of upside, Chris Saban, uh, normal viewing figures, Killer Kelly's injured, so let's see how long she's injured for, where is it, medical, there we go, six days, so she'll be back by the next show, when is the next show, there's no show for the near future, so um, let's have a quick look at the finance, 226 grand, this is the first match we've booked, it's for the tag titles, you've got Scum, Versus Generation Next 3 versus Kamikaze versus Pretty Deadly. Um, I have improved Matt Seidel and Chris Saban so that, um, to get them up to the standard they should be. Um, but yeah, so basically we're just doing this as tag team title defense. Um, but we're, we're also mixing in Blue Kane and Shea Purser to give them a bit of a spotlight in the uh, tag team division. So there's that. And then what we'll do, we'll do an angle afterwards where Pretty Deadly will attack Blue Kane and Shea Purser after the match. So then that means we'll set up a match for the next show for Blue Kane and Shea Purser versus Pretty Deadly. Um, so that's the opening match. And then now what we're going to do is... Actually, I'll do a women's six-way six match first. So we'll do that and we'll have Ginny as always. Killer Kelly, that's all right. We'll have the women's title on the line. I'm going to leave it blank so anybody can win this, or we might have a new champion. Yep, that's fine. And then we'll do another six man, this time for the men. Get a few wrestlers out there, try a few out that we haven't already. Uh, Rampage, Brown, D'Angelo. Uh, Alan Angels, Andrew Everett, Kelvin Tankman, Chris Hero. Let's see how these get on. Next match, we'll have the normal match one on one, I think. Nathan Cruz versus Chris Sabian, I think. Be a good match. Let's leave that as a normal match. Do a uh, microphone angle before the for the match as well. Do one more match, I think. I'm going to have Kenny Williams win this one. I don't think A-Kid's the one to defeat him. Right, 
and then I just need to do an angle with them too just to keep everybody happy on that one right that's it then I think we're good to go let me just check the booking analysis see how we get on uh, they're saying Alan Angel's been used too much, and so is I release, but other than that, they're all right. Um, we will not be penalised because we're in the band rules. So, yeah, we're good to go. Right then, so the tag team, four-way tag team match did well. Got a 76 rating. Obviously, because we've got Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews with a 91 rating. I think that's the highest I've seen on this save so far. I could be wrong. In a way, I don't want to have these two as singles wrestlers but they are really good uh, maybe eventually what i'll probably do is have these two in a feud against each other for the title but we'll see at the moment they're just really good as a tag team and they help obviously with these as well blue can got a 36 shaver supposed got a 29 so that's not good but kit wilson and El elton prince did all right and that side i've got 72 which was way better than the last one jack evans should be rated better for in ring performance really Mark Andrews felt really good. I need to give Mark Andrews some praise, I think, as well as Morgan Webster. So I need to praise them. The angle afterwards did okay, 32. The six way women's match, Killer Kelly pinned Ivy Lease. Oh, I forgot Killer Kelly's the women's champion, then she's not, not Ginny. But yeah, Kelly Kelly defended the title successfully for the second time. Ginny got an 85 rating, Killer Kelly got 67. So did Valkyrie, so did Ivy Lee. Kaylee Ray got 75. So some, at least the women's division is looking a lot better now. At least we can vary it up a bit with who we've got in there. Six Ways men's match, Rampage Brown won. Got a 71 rating. Rampage Brown got a 75 rating. And so did and, and Calvin Tank got a 73 rating. And the rest were okay. Angle with Nathan Cruz and Chris Saban got a 54, which ain't too bad. The match got an 81 rating, which is good. That's what I want to see. Chris Saban only got 64 rating again. That should be better than what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. I've, I've, I've upped his attributes. I'm not, I'm not going to like up them to the to ridiculous amounts because that's just spoiling it. But I, I did it as I tried to do it as realistic as possible for Chris Saban and Matt Sido, so they weren't over the top with the attributes, but they were decent enough. Uh, Angle with Kenny Williams and Akid got a 34 rated. A kid was not good on up scripts, so I need to remember that for next time. And then the match got a 79 rating, so not too bad at all. A kid did all right, got a 59 rating. Actually, I thought it was 69, so no, he didn't do all right. Kenny Williams stood out with 79 rating, so I could do with praise him, but 79 rated for the main event, which ain't too bad. Now, let's see how the show did overall. So let's look at the attendance 109, get in, we're back. 109, I'm good. I'm glad to I'm good with that. Overall rating 75 as well. Improved the popularity in 32 regions, but yeah, really good. I'm glad we got that's the highest crowd we've done. Better than last show, we only got 60 odd. So that's good. So I need to give Morgan Webster, Mark Andrews, and probably Kenny Williams. We've got 244 grand in the bank. So my my merchandise upgraded now, so I need to upgrade it again. Um, so we just keep, we just keep, keep upgrading it really. Right, so let's just have a quick look at the finances. Minus thirty seven grand, but that'll work itself out towards the end of next week. Whenever I look at it again, ticket sales nine eight one, which is the highest. I think it's the highest we've made. So highest we've made so far. Broadcast revenue slightly down. Sponsors down. Merchandise is up. But yeah, not too bad. But obviously things, I will look, when I forward it in like say a week's time, it will start a new month and it will probably work itself out. Um, let's just have a look at creative. Chris Saban and Matt Seidel, since I've upgraded them a bit, they are now the best two workers on here. Um, franchise players, sorry. So maybe one of them will end up being, I feel like Morgan Webster or Mark Andrews needs to be the next, the one that, that defeats Kenny Williams, but if you have any other suggestions who you think should be the 
heavyweight champion, let me know. I feel like just actually having Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster as tag champions and also feuding for the title at the same at the heavyweight title at the same time. Next big things I uh Brookside, Luke Jacobs, Captain Sexy, Alan Angels and Masha Slamovich. Uh Hot Prospects is basically the same. Uh Nightshade is in there. Talk the talk. Best on the mic is Chris Saban, D'Angelo De Niro, Damien Sandell, Bret Hart and Tom Lawler. Showstoppers is Chris Saban, Nathan Cruz, Matt Seidel, Cara Nora, Mark Andrews. Maybe I'll give Cara Nora a match next show, see how he gets on. Ring Generals, Nathan Cruz, Chris Saban, Morgan Webster, Matt Seidel, Mark Andrews. Who's hot at the moment? Joseph Connors, Blue Kane, Kenny Williams, Ginny, and Thomas Billington. So the British Empire stem, uh, stable doing quite well. Blue Kane, obviously, doing well as well, but he's just not good enough in the ring, unfortunately. But he is... He is getting the crowds in. I won't bother with who's not or hidden gems. So I think that's pretty much. I don't know. Let's have a quick look at Figure Red. Let's see. Let's see if Blue Kane. Blue Kane's not. Oh, he is. Uh, he's extremely over, but not as over. So let's see who else. Let's have a look at Kenny Williams. See if he's an option. Kenny Williams. Mm, lots of reds there. Let's see what Mark Andrews and that come up with. Mark Andrews, same. I don't think I'm going to get anybody who just really stands out here. I think they're all going to have their pluses and minuses, really, and nobody's really going to stand out. So, yeah. Right, on that note, I'm going to save this before I forget. Thank you for your support. I'll be back on Thursday um, with another episode. And uh, I hope you're enjoying my content. Let me know if you're not. Let me know if you want me to change anything. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the weather.